wins with ease. We, we pretty much saw that happening, especially after watching that first round. But she wins in 1082. Kind of had a rocky start. It was very night and day start from her semifinal versus her final. Her final, not that good of a start, but she's just so much better than everyone else in the USA field that she was able to still pull away with ease. But if she has that type of start at the world championship level, she's not going to win a race like that, especially what we saw what Sharika did. We'll talk about that later. But again, it's not about her putting together an all-time race here. It was just about getting the win, yeah, getting to Budapest, and getting to that starting line. And she checked that off her list. That's what She came here with one job. It wasn't to throw down American records or all-time marks. It was yeah. just to qualify. And she did it with ease, 1082 with the – Like she was like in last place almost like through the first 10 meters, it felt like. She had two really awesome starts. Yes. In this meet. Oh, from prelims and prelims, semis. semis, They were great. It wasn't her best start in the final, but at no point in this race did I think that she was going to (laughs) lose. Yeah. Not only did I think she was going to qualify, I thought for sure she was going to win because I watched the first two rounds. So, yeah, we can talk about worlds and all that other stuff and what it means later on. But you're right. The mission was simply to qualify and she did that she runs 10 8 without her best start i think that's a good sign um looked comfortable in that semi i know it wasn't as fast as the first round but you know you have two rounds to worry about on day two of 100 you hold a little bit more back potentially but all in all if you look at the three races for richardson it went went perfectly well for i mean it went what you would want um if you're shakari richardson yeah it was clean through all three you know Win, win, win. There was no like, ooh, a little sh- shaky semifinal. What's going to happen in the final? It's no, very no, no, obvious. No, 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 yeah. She came in here, got the three wins, and is moving to Budapest. And then beyond, behind her, we kind of thought it was going to be an Aaliyah Hobb yeah. Shakari showdown, but yeah. Hobbs had a disastrous semifinal. Gets dead last in her heat. Not sure. Clearly, there was something up because that was not what we've seen all year long for her. She like struggled and she was never able to find her turnover late in the race. And Fails to make the final. Uh, so once Hobbs was taken off that yeah. top three list, we we're like, hey, there's two spots for the other seven women to get. And Brittany Brown mm-hmm. and Tamari Davis get it done. Now, Tamari Davis, we looked at as a uh, yeah, she can make it, big yeah. like top three contender. But Brittany Brown in the 100, we know she's done some fun things in the 200. Mm-hmm. She's had a long Metal career so far. Two. For see her get second place in the USA's in the 100, I was very impressed. I thought that was kind of the underrated, didn't see it come into performance of the of the day so far. Oh, 100%. 100%. And you're right. She medaled in Doha. Um, she'd run, you know, she'd, she eked this. In the 200. Eked, not yeah, 100. yeah. This equaled her her PB. So she'd run fast hundreds before. But to emerge from that, that group of women was surprising. As of this recording, I, I haven't heard about Hobbs, so I'm not sure what happened. Just feel terrible for her yeah. because she's had such a good season. You talked about how she was the model of consistency all year. And when she didn't make it and when she wasn't running up to the level that she ran all year, you could just see the gap, how big the gap in the semi was between Richardson and everyone else. Now, it was a smaller gap than once we got to the finals, but – it just it became very clear. We always thought it was a, a two woman race for this field. And when Richardson uh, advanced and Hobbs did not, it came down to a one woman race and then a, a wide open two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at that point. Mia Bray Pedersen, the high schooler, makes the final, squeaks in. Like there was a lot of almost story. made the relay pool. She yeah. was seventh. Yeah. There was a lot of very, and Jen, Jenna Prandini, we should say, scratched out of the 100 semis. So, there was a lot of moving parts to this women's hundred. Top line, Shakari wins. That's what we expected. But after that, unpredictable. 